OK, well, we're joined now by Adam Kokish, who was a US presidential candidate for the Libertarian Party at the last election, where John McAfee uh, was his running mate. And uh, you're very welcome. Thanks for your time tonight, Adam. Thanks for coming on. Um, just tell us, from your own perspective, how will you remember John McAfee? Because he was a very colourful character. Well, first, thank you very much for this opportunity. And, and I want to take the chance first to say... I will never commit suicide in government custody. Unfortunately, saying that was not sufficient protection for our friend John, but to any FBI agents who are watching or listening to this right now, let me say I have information that is critical to you preventing a crime from happening. I want to talk to you. I want my file. I want John McAfee's file. And I want a fucking whistleblower. It's time for this crap to end. Enough killing activists. John McAfee right. was not killed Adam, for if I could just ask you, I understand, you, you know, you, you feel very strongly here, but if you could just mind your language uh, for all our viewers at home too. But uh, let's just come on to the conspiracies that are surrounding yeah, I, this I, case I, too. I, I appreciate, I appreciate your standard of decorum and, and, and respect for the fact that a friend of mine was just murdered by government in custody. And this is something that a risk that I have faced, that many activists ongoing continue to face, as you yourself mentioned, that Julian Assange and many other high-profile whistleblowers face, as Aaron Swartz faced, as so many others. How many, how many people have to commit suicide with two gunshot wounds to the back of their head before people wake up. This is this is insane. This is ridiculous. And and yeah, I, John McAfee, you want me to answer? I, I'm going to remember him as the guy who got arrested for smoking a joint, went right back, smoked another joint, and went back and and kept doing it until uh, uh, until uh, until he didn't get arrested because he was the guy. I, people respect me for political activism, for civil disobedience, for, you know, I, I walk up to the line and I step over the line and I go, oh my gosh, did you get that on camera? John, John McAfee, there was no line. You put, try to point it out to him in the first place, he'd say, you're full of crap. That's just more, more government nonsense. And he was, he was a free spirit. He was one of a kind. And, uh, you know, may, maybe just, you know, too, 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 uh, too powerful. Mm. Too much of a threat to the system for them to let him live. Adam, look, good to get your thoughts tonight. We appreciate your time in coming on and uh, speaking to us so early after this news. That was uh, Adam Kokish, chair of the Homefront Battle Buddies, but he was also uh, a presidential candidate for the Libertarian Party at the last election where John McAfee was his running mate. Thanks for coming on.